Hi, I'm consultant Tiffany Gray, and with me today is senior consultant Nick Poyan. Welcome to Red Hat Whiteboarding Sessions. We are both a part of North America public sector within Red Hat Consulting. Today, we're going to talk to you about integrating two amazing products, Satellite 6 and Ansible Tower. Nick, what are some of the benefits of integrating these two products? So individually, they both do great and amazing things. Satellite is fantastic at content management and provisioning, whereas Ansible Tower is amazing at automation and configuration management. What are some of the use cases that integrating these two tools would solve? The primary uh, use cases that we'll be discussing today is the first one is integrating and uh, using satellite as a inventory source for tower and then later on we'll be discussing then using our tower infrastructure to enhance our satellite uh, provisioning capabilities. You just mentioned using satellite based inventories. Can you explain that process? So the first thing we're going to do is establish a line of communication between them. In our satellite example today we have two users, an admin and a user one user. Our admin user is going to tie into you know, a host group that has access to everything so they can manage the entire environment. In our second example for user one, uh, we're going to point them at a very specific application. In this example, it's going to be Apache. Um, next thing we're going to do is mirror this uh, configuration on our Ansible Tower side. So we're going to establish a line of uh, a set of credentials that give us that communication that we were just discussing. Once those credentials are established, we're going to create inventories that match this host group structure. And then we're going to associate tower accounts for an admin and also user one so they can access their inventories and have ability to connect all the way through the workflow. You just mentioned the leveraging of access controls. And I did notice here that you have an auth server. Can you explain how both of those tie into Ansible Tower? Yep. So in this very basic example, we have a set of local user accounts. You know, the bigger your environment gets, the more cumbersome local accounts get. So in an effort to, to streamline that management process, we can integrate an IDM solution into the two tools as well. So we will mirror our admin and user one to connect into both machines. Are there any additional benefits that you feel like are important to share? So once we establish connection, we're going to use this opportunity to sync all of our inventory into those inventory files. And in addition to providing you know, all the host names uh, you know, from satellite, it also is going to give you everything that satellite's aware of. So what organization it's a part of, what content views, what errata it sees, and any, you know, in addition, in our host group example, any additional information that, that's, that it's aware of. So, you can then take all the satellite, additional satellite information and then use that to parameterize our Ansible playbooks. Now I understand the benefits of using satellite-based inventories to enhance your Ansible Tower setup. Now on to the second use case that he mentioned, provisioning capabilities. Now on to our new diagram. Nick, when integrating both Satellite 6 and Ansible Tower, which component of Satellite 6 is executing the task from the Ansible playbook? It's going to be our provisioning templates. Can you elaborate on that process? So over here on your Ansible Tower side, we're going to take a look at our pre-existing uh, job templates. Those templates are where we're defining what playbooks to run, what credentials we're going to use to connect to the machines, and what inventories are associated uh, you know, with that job template. There's a couple additional uh, items that we're going to configure within those templates. The first one is going to be our provisioning callback, and then there's also going to be an associated host configuration key. Well, then we're going to take that con host configuration information and we're going to plug that into our provisioning templates. Can you kind of give me an example of that workflow? Sure. So initially in satellite, we're going to create a new host record. And each new host record is going to be associated with a provisioning template. Within that provisioning template, it's going to define how we're going to build a machine and where it's going to go. So this job is going to launch, build out our new machine. Once it's up and running, it's going to notify Foreman within Satellite to say, hey, I'm up and running, ready to go, keep, keep doing your thing. Provisioning template's going to check to see if I have anything else to run. Now, this is where we tie in the, uh, the callback information. So we're going to have an, an additional Ansible snippet that contains all that information. So our provisioning template's going to kick this off. The snippet's going to reach out to the associated template that that callback is uh, referring to. Template's going to say, hey, what inventory am I going to? It's going to come up here, check my inventory, and then my inventory is going to see where my host is coming from. 
The inventory that you just mentioned here, is this the same inventories from our previous use case? Yes, actually this is the integration point where satellite is feeding your host information back to Ansible. So once it validates that this new machine is in its inventory, it's going to come back down, contact our VM via the inventory, run our new Ansible playbooks, and you're going to be off and running. So if I have multiple um, playbooks, would I also need multiple provisioning templates? So ideally what you're going to want to do is establish a master provisioning playbook. And within that playbook, you're going to define multiple roles. So back to our first use case where we're triggering off of different host groups, you know, we can define that in our Ansible variables to say, hey, if I'm coming from a certain host group, run these roles. And that way you can establish, you know, in an automated way how to build machines on the fly differently. Now that we have fully integrated both Ansible Tower and Satellite 6, we have an end-to-end -end build and a deployable process on a highly robust configuration management system. All of this automation occurs with the simple click of a button. So if someone had more questions or wanted to actually implement this into their infrastructure, how would they go about that, Nick? So you're going to want to contact your account executive and schedule a discovery session, or you can go to redhat.com slash services and find out some additional information about our training and uh, consulting service offerings. Thank you for your time.